I guess I started playing piano when I was tall enough to reach the keys on my mother's piano. When I was a kid, I saw Jimi Hendrix on TV, and I thought I was going to start playing guitar. The dreams I had were something like uh, the Beatles' dream. A couple of guys, very close, traveling around the world, and you know, just to be famous and to be able to play the music.
they get to meet the band and the band will sign autographs for them and it, it brings in a good feeling for them because they get close to the band oh, it's yeah. sort of like a little private meeting you know something they would never do anywhere else so that's good and we were inviting all the local radio people right and absolutely the guys who supported us from the beginning absolutely and the ones we want to have us support us in yes. the future right yes and you know as long as we keep pumping out music like we are there's no problem <laughs> glad you're saying that well we allocated this period i mean of uh, this year in order to come here and break this market and hopefully we'll do and if we do it in a big way we'll come back and and hopefully do stadiums right we will That's be back <laughs> <laughs> super it's good having you working with us john because we've never worked with a, a tour uh, as a press and promotion coordinator before and it feels really great I say whoa. I do that. Ah, you do that. Ja, vad fan, det tackar jag också. Så Du får vara balans mellan Norge och Europa. It started when my mother gave me my first guitar for a Christmas gift. I was 12 years old. And I picked out licks from Clapton and uh, Jeff Beck and uh, Jimi Hendrix and the hard rock acts like uh, Deep Purple and Rahib and, and stuff like that. That's where it happened. <laughs> 